If equipped, the power front seat controls are located on the outboard side of each seat, which can be moved forward, rearward, up, or down by moving the seat switch in the desired direction. To tilt the front of the seat cushion up or down, pull or push the front of the seat switch in the desired direction. The seat back switch controls the recline angle of the seat back, and the lumbar switch will increase or decrease lumbar support, and, on certain models, move it up or down. If equipped with manual front seat controls, move the seat forward or rearward by pulling up on the bar under the seat. Pull up on the seat back lever to adjust the angle of the seat back. Two-way front seat head restraints can be raised by simply pulling up on the headrest or lowered by pushing the adjustment button at the base of the restraint and then pushing down on the headrest. If equipped with four-way head restraints, adjust the headrest forward by pulling the top toward the front of the vehicle as desired and release. To adjust it rearward, pull it to the frontmost position and release. This will reset it to the rearmost position. If your vehicle is equipped with reclining rear seats, they can be adjusted in one of two ways, depending on the model. For slide reclining rear seats, the recliner handle is located on the front of the outboard seat cushions. To adjust the seat back, lift up on the handle, slide the seat bottom forward, and then release the handle. For normal reclining rear seats, the recliner handle is located on the outside of the seat cushion. To adjust the seat back, lift up on the handle, lean back on the seat back, and then release the handle. The available heated and ventilated front seats can be controlled with the buttons on the center stack or through the touchscreen. Pushing the heated seat button multiple times will switch from high to medium, low, and off. Pushing the ventilated seat button works the same way. If the two second row outboard seats are heated and ventilated, they can be operated independently with switches on the rear of the center console. The engine must be running to operate heated and ventilated seats. On vehicles equipped with driver memory settings, the position of the power driver seat, along with side mirrors, adjustable pedals, radio presets, and more, can be saved to a memory setting by pushing the S button on the driver's door or seat, then pushing one of the memory buttons. Available in-floor storage bins, or RAM bins, are located in front of the second row seats. To open a bin, lift up the latch handle and open the lid. Liners are removable for easy cleaning, and some models have tie-downs for securing cargo safely when the vehicle is moving. To access the storage under the rear seats on new Ram 1500 models, unlatch the lock mechanism in the center of the seat base by rotating it either way, and fold the front of the base forward. Then, flip the inside of the base upward until it locks into place. Certain Ram Classic, chassis cab, and heavy-duty crew cab models provide additional storage under the rear seats. Lift the seats, undo the snaps, and lift upward on the lid. To deploy the available folding load floor, lift the seat cushion, unfold both the legs using the straps, then lift the front panel until the load floor unfolds into position. And if your vehicle has a fold-flat second row, it may also be equipped with storage bins behind the rear seats the easiest access to these bins is with the seats folded flat. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, please see your owner's information.